Welcome to my party, we're just getting started A life is a dream or a nightmare scarring Hand me a drink cause I think I'm going all in Get me a shrink, who can catch me when I'm falling? Cover up my scars, flip the handlebars Crashing in my car, wake up in a bar I'll be a superstar, just on my avatar This world is so bizarre, empty out the reservoir Yeah Shots, yeah, straight to the face And I wanna get lost, I'm sick of this place Don't know how to stop when I'm feeling this way So I'm taking six shots till I'm feeling okay I think I'm going crazy Don't think I'll get on safe So I'm taking six shots all straight to the face I'm taking six shots, are you coming with me? After Valhalla, Aston Martin intends to launch PHEV model in 2026 after introducing the Valhalla as its first plug-in hybrid supercar, PHEV, Aston Martin plans to introduce a PHEV model of its other sports cars in 2026. Using technology from Mercedes-Benz, the manufacturer based in Gaydon, England, will add a touch of electrification to existing models. As such, Vantage, DB12, and DBS are likely to carry PHEV systems soon. We're all adequate graduates, heart full of calluses, but we know calculus. Damn, ain't that fabulous? Can't wait to apply all those mathematicus. But we can't get a job that pays us enough. I'm about to pop up. Confirmation of this plan came from Aston Martin when they announced their midterm strategy after recording a positive trend in the first half of 2023. Aston Martin chief executive, Lawrence Stroll, explained that the Valhalla supercar marks the start of a new era for Aston Martin in expanding the PHEV market for existing vehicles. We plan to expand our range of PHEVs into our core vehicles, and this will be a bridge for customers from ICE to BEV completely, said Stroll as quoted from Autocar, Wednesday, July 26. So I'm taking six shots all straight to the face I'm taking six shots, are you coming with me? I'm taking six shots, yeah, straight to the face And I wanna get lost, now I'm sick of this place no, no, This hybrid strategy applies to the entire model line and is supported by electrified drive technology from Mercedes-Benz. For the record, Mercedes-Benz has been a supplier of engines and infotainment systems to Aston Martin since 2016. Aston Martin looks set to use Mercedes V8 engine as the basis of its future PHEV setup, which is currently used on the Vantage, DB12, and DBX. This engine is also the basis of the hybrid system on the Mercedes AMG GT 63E Performance and Mercedes AMG S 63E Performance. The use of this V8 engine has been proven on the mid-engined Valhalla. This engine was developed by Mercedes High Performance Division, namely AMG. With a twin-turbo 4.0-liter V8 configuration combined with an electric motor on the rear axle, this engine is capable of producing up to 789 horsepower and 1,355 newton-meters of torque. Although it will use the same engine and electric motor configuration, it is likely that Aston Martin will use a different size battery, depending on the model. Larger models, such as the DBX, may require a larger battery capacity. Meanwhile, for cars with a smaller size like the Vantage, it is likely to use a smaller battery capacity. However, for electric cars, EV, Aston Martin has teamed up with electric vehicle company from the US, Lucid. Lucid will provide electric motors and battery technology for the SUV model planned for release in 2025.